And while trading is closed on June 15, 2020, we'll go over our calls. Look for a gap and a prompt move outside Friday's range. We got that. We said there were a number of signals to buy, and we got a rally, but I get no credit for it because we did cap sharply in the undesired direction. And when that happens, the call, any calls, cancel. Tomorrow's pattern has the has the early high. Had a few signals from EJT. Here it said ultimately lower price it would print. They did. Said the move was false, would retrace. Had a strong rally, said that was false, would retrace. That's already happened. There is a valid count that says that the bear market rally is over. It breaks no rules, but it's not my preferred count. I'm still looking for us to have a rally to the apex of this wedge here. I calculated around 32.99 by around the Independence Day weekend. This is very likely a completion of A, B, of magenta C, of blue B, and one more wave up could be it. It's a valid count. I like it, but it's not the only count. We broke down here, had a few lows, keep breaking to new to keep breaking to new lows. They don't stick. It's usually a sign we're going higher. Another sign we're going higher is a volume spike on the E-mini contract. It tends to be associated with short-term or longer lows. Well, Tuesday's pattern has a early high. It doesn't mean you won't gap down. It's typically a rally day with a high near the close. If you fail, you drop in a straight line. We've recently rejected the overnight lows and rejected lows during regular trading hours. NASDAQ, McClellan Oscillator, Volatility Index, they're on the buys. It's an E-mini volume spike. I think we'll see higher prices tomorrow. Standard rule, if you get down smartly, the calls kill before the open. My preferred wave count says the rally, if it occurs, could be the last to rob before a sizable drop. Looking for higher prices tomorrow. Pattern with the early high. Day-long rally is the most likely. And that's today's call.